It's important to keep your clipper and trimmer in good condition so you'll be able to enjoy effortless clipping throughout its entire lifetime. Here are a few easy steps you can take to keep your clipper up and running. Your clipper blades have been oiled at the factory, but for maximum performance, they should be oiled before or after each use. To do so, place one drop of oil at each end, just a few teeth in. Turn the clipper on for a few seconds to allow the oil to lubricate the entire cutting surface. Your blades are now lubricated and protected. Clippers are preset at the factory to run on a typical household current. Household electrical systems are usually designed for 120 volt and 60 hertz products. If the actual voltage differs from the 120 volts, most clippers will adjust automatically, but some will require manual adjustment to ensure maximum performance. To set the correct power level for your clipper, you'll need to adjust the power adjustment screw on the side of the clipper. First, turn the clipper on. Then use a flathead screwdriver to turn the screw clockwise until you hear a loud clacking noise. Now just slowly turn the screw in the opposite direction or counterclockwise until the sound stops. Your clipper is now set at maximum power. If you have a clipper that has a snap-in, snap-out cutting assembly, use these simple steps to keep your clipper clean. First, unplug the clipper from your wall outlet and make sure your clipper is in the off position and the taper control is set to the lowest setting. Snap out the cutting system and hold it in your hand and pinch the white OSC to remove the cutter. Using the supplied cleaning brush, gently brush away any hair that may be trapped in the assembly. Release the pinch and reassemble the cutting system, making sure the tab sits into the slot in the clipper body. Plug the clipper back in and turn your clipper on to make sure the cutting assembly is properly engaged. If you have a clipper with a cutting system screwed to the clipper, follow these simple cleaning steps. Unplug the clipper from your wall outlet and make sure your clipper is in the off position and the taper control is set to the lowest setting. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the two Phillips screws by turning them counterclockwise. Remove the screws and separate the cutter from the comb. Clean both the comb and cutter using the provided cleaning brush. When replacing the cutting system, it is important to make sure the blades are properly aligned before screwing it back in place. Once the blades are a consistent distance apart from the left side to the right, the screws can be replaced. Then apply oil as before. If the blade alignment is off, add a few drops of oil to the blades and turn the clipper on for a few moments. Then turn it off and unplug. Use a screwdriver to adjust the screws and tighten after the blades are aligned. With these basic styling techniques and simple tips to take care of your clipper, you'll soon be an expert hair cutter.